I think we've seen uh, over the past number of uh, days and weeks uh, many Canadians very concerned about the issue of foreign interference into our democracies, into our election processes. We share that concern. This is an extraordinarily serious issue. And to reassure people, we've been taking it seriously since back in 2015 when we got elected. Um, from the very beginning, we noted uh, as we saw increased election interference from countries like China, Iran, Russia, and others in democracies around the world, we knew we needed to step up Canada's tools to counter foreign influence uh, and uh, interference in our democratic processes. So we did. We stepped up uh, to create a protocol for the 2019 and 2021 elections to notify Canadians in the event our ability to have free and fair elections are threatened. It includes a panel of senior public servants informed by national security agencies and reviewed after every election. Uh, the latest review on 2021 just came out and confirms uh, that our election integrity held in 2021 as it did in 2019. When we were hosting the G7 in 2018 in Charlevoix, uh, we created a rapid rep response mechanism for democracies to be able to move quickly against foreign interference. We move forward with a digital citizen initiative uh, that is allowing Canadians to be more empowered to see misinformation and disinformation and see the impact of foreign governments in uh, what we're doing. In 2017, we created a National Security and Intelligence Committee of Parliamentarians to be able to have parliamentary oversight by all parties over our national security agencies. This was something that we had argued for uh, against the Conservatives when they were in government for many years. And we were able to bring that in. And now NSI COP has the capacity uh, to look into election interference and have the top secret clearances necessary to see everything that's being done. These are the kinds of things that we have been doing from the very beginning. In 2018, we passed legislation that strengthens election financing laws to keep foreign money out. This past June, we introduced legislation to protect cybersecurity, and we're working on creating a foreign agent registry. So we have been taking this issue extraordinarily seriously. We've been empowering our national security agencies and officials to pursue the issue of ongoing interference. We have been speaking about the dangers of foreign interference since well before the 2019 election, and we will continue to step up on this. Right now, as we speak, in Ottawa, there's a parliamentary committee hearings going on where our national security agencies and officials are testifying to uh, what happened, what go, what's been going on, uh, what they've been seeing in an open and transparent way because we need to keep doing two things. We need to keep making sure that our agencies and our officials have all the tools necessary in an independent, nonpartisan way to ensure that our democracy and our institutions hold and our elections remain free and fair. And secondly, to make sure that Canadians <clears throat> can continue to have confidence in our institutions, in our democracy, in our elections. That's what this government has done from the very beginning. It is a responsibility we have always taken very seriously, and it is one we will continue to uphold. Post-media news has learned that that parliamentary committee today we'll, we'll be asking government to call a national in inquiry, a nonpartisan national inquiry into the issue of, of potential foreign influence into elections. How will, your, how will your government respond to that request? I think one of the most important things to remember is we have an awful lot of mechanisms that are underway right now around uh, determining what kind of foreign interference has happened is continuing to happen and demonstrating the tools we have. Right now, as we're speaking, our parliamentary committee is hearing directly from uh, national security experts uh, and officials as to the work that they've been doing over the past many years to counter ongoing uh, interference.
We also know that the National Security Committee of Parliamentarians uh, is going to uh, dig into this question, as they have in the past as well. There are multiple processes ongoing. There are uh, report, a report that just came out, an independent report that just came out on the functioning of the high panel uh, for election interference. But we will continue to do what is necessary to reach those two clear goals that Canadians can expect. First of all, that our agencies and officials and institutions have all the tools necessary to safeguard our democracy and our elections. And two, that Canadians can continue to have confidence, not just in our national security officials, but in the integrity of our democracies. We will continue uh, to work to make sure that that happens.